Well, the early bow season is right around the corner for most folks in the Midwest. Um, it's September 6th right now here in Wisconsin. Our season opens the 15th. Michigan, I know, opens the 1st. There's all the other states are opening by the 1st. Some have already opened. And it's a great time to start thinking about that first early season set. Now, there's a lot of strategies with that that we'll talk about in other, other videos, including uh, how to analyze the first set weather set and that weather forecasting and making sure that you uh, pick the best day to set. Um, we'll also talk about values of sits as we go into the rut because when you get into the peak rut, I like to score each set. So you have early morning stand, sometimes midday stand, sometimes those are two together, and then an evening stand because all day can be a flurry of rutting activity and all day is a great time to be in the woods, not necessarily in the same stand. And that brings us to early season sit. I cannot overemphasize enough the value of an evening sit in the early season. For example, this spot right here, we have bucks that are coming in using the water hole, using the mock scrape that's right here, and then they're heading down to our food plots below or the reverse. They're coming up from the food plots, hitting this, and then they're heading out either which direction they go, bedding right up here, they're heading out to ag. And so the ag time is where they're spending their evening hours. The only thing I can do here with hunting in the morning is mess this up. I come in here, there's a random deer here around the water hole that starts sailing deer back into the cover here. It's a ping pong ball effect or video game effect where just deer are running into other deer, they're spooking deer, and I can clear out this hollow right out of here that's about 10 acres and ruin the sit for the evening. So when it heads into that early season, really pay attention to those high quality evening food source movement sits and make sure if you are gonna go out in the morning that you're not tempted to get in a line of movement where you can place a much higher value and predict a much higher level of success in the evening hours than you can in the morning hours. For example, right up here on the top is a great morning stand. It's one of my favorite rut stands. I like it for morning, midday, evening, and evening. It's one of those rare stands that you can use all day. There's a chance that some of these bucks that are hitting this waterfall are gonna go by that stand location that's about 250 yards and 200 feet in elevation above us in this position but the money stand, the money movement is the predictable evening food source, afternoon movement for deer to come in here. Great opportunity in the early season. And of course, when you get into the pre-rut, great morning opportunity. When you get into the peak rut all day, when you get into back into the late season in December, then you're focusing largely on evening sets. And so there's a lot of times to Pay attention to whether it's evening or morning stand and making sure you don't burn out that high value stand sitting in the wrong time of the day. This is evening stand, this is an evening setup. We'll get into a peak rut. There's great cruising bucks on this and uh, this is an opportunity we can hunt during the peak rut. But when it comes to uh, early season evening stands and that opportunity to take advantage of a solid movement that you've been watching all summer, then this is it. This is, it has the ingredients of getting in here away from bedding or near food. I think we'll have the perfect evening setup and we hope to bring it to you and have some success here because this is one of our best stand locations, water hole and mock scrape combo setups that we have on all three properties that I hunt here in Southwest Wisconsin.